Now I'm more than 100% sure that this title and this thumbnail right here is a little bit extreme to you guys, but I'm for you guys to start thinking in extremities if you want to break past $10,000 in a day. I'm going to give you three different make money methods that you can implement today, and I'm going to break down why and which one would work best for you. I want you to comment below and let me know which one you picked as well. So number one, uh, can you make $10,000 in a day with a nine to five job? OK, the daily earnings of a plastic surgeon can get up to that, maybe five to ten thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars. But guess what? It will probably take you hella years to actually <laughs> get on that level unless you are already a plastic surgeon right now. So we're going to hop on to the next one. The next one I'm sure you heard of it is called cold calling to make $10,000 in a day and we're going to break it down. Now, I'm going to give you guys the softwares and the tools and everything and some of the training at no cost to show you guys how to get to this mark. So why am I doing this video today? Because I noticed that a lot of people are stuck. They're stuck at $100 a day. Some people aren't making any money online. And I remember being in situations where, you know, rent would be coming up or some type of uh, possession, or, you know, like of the vehicle or something, eviction, something would be coming up. And when the emergency happened, I was able to make a crap load of money. Like when I was scared and when I was like, yo, didn't have any other choice and I had to come up with this lump sum of money, my mind got creative. Now, a lot of people freezes up. You know, that's why I want you to practice this way of thinking, right? That way, when you're in this real position, you don't freeze up. But I was able to make crazy amounts of money, $10,000, $20,000 in a day, $80,000 in a week when I was in an emergency. And then when things cooled down, I went back to making little amounts a day. So we don't want to be like that. We want it to be consistent because once you see that you can actually do it, why go back to the old ways? So start thinking in an extremity, okay? If you only had eight hours to make $10,000 in an eight-hour shift or a day, what money methods would you use? Now, it breaks it down for you. It helps you select niches and it helps you choose how uh, much you're going to charge for, uh, for the service or the product because through process of elimination, you know that you're not going to be able to hit $10,000 a day um, in, in an eight hour shift if you're selling something for $50, 100 bucks. You know you're going to need something high ticket and you know you're not going to be able to sell it to a restaurant or, or um, just a regular person like some ebook type stuff. <laughs> you know, if you're needing $10,000 in eight hours. So it, it, remember the Saw movie, right? Let's play a game. All right. Think like that. Uh, remember, he would ask them to do a lot of stuff. He would ask them to remember things or he would ask them to find something. And usually they wouldn't be able to do that stuff. But <laughs> their life was on the line and they was able to pull it off. So I want you to think like that. Not trying to fear monger you. I'm trying to inspire you and encourage you to start being your best, most creative self every single day so that you don't run into a situation like this and if you were to run into a situation like this it would be a piece of cake all right so let's get back to it all right so cold calling to make ten thousand dollars in a day all right it says the average conversion rate for cold calling can vary uh widely based on multiple factors including your sales skills and everything right but on average you can expect a one percent to five percent on average now one thing I want to say about that, guys, typically most people, even in a whole eight hour shift of cold calling, I, I used to work at a telemarketing place, right? Most people can't dial over 200 calls per day. All right. So like if you only get a one percent to five percent conversion rate and that just depends on your sales skills, it depends on the product, all of that extra stuff. Remember, you're cold calling and you only have 30 to 60 seconds maybe uh, to impress them or get them invested before they hang up on you. So I'm showing you guys, you cold callers, why this business model is like you shouldn't be doing it. But but 
If you were in a situation like this, you want to talk to as many people in that eight hour period as possible. And cold calling would not allow you to. And most of the time, uh, you're going to get discouraged before you even reach that 200, you know what I'm saying, that 200th business owner. So let me show you something. So it says, given that you've called 300 business owners in a day and offered something between $2,000 to $5,000, let's calculate the potential outcomes based on the range of conversion rates. Now, like I said, that's $2,000 to $5,000. Imagine somebody cold calls you. This is not like Grant Cardone's company where they're calling warm leads or leads that's heard of him before. That's not really cold calling to me. I'm talking about as if you were doing phone pranks back in the day with the phone book. Remember that? That's a real cold call. I'm talking about you calling complete strangers and asking for two to $5,000. Now, you might go through way more than three to five hundred people. You understand what I'm saying? Unless you have formulas and scripts that I use. Right. But it's still like difficult. You want to know why? Because even when you get a good response, they're going to say, OK, can you send me more information? Can you show me your website and I'll get back to you? You only have eight hours. You need people to make a decision right then and there. Remember? When the clock stops, your heart stops. Do not forget that. OK, so <laughs> you can't afford to cold call because even when you get some appointments and stuff like that, they're going to want to see stuff before they send you some type of invoice. Right. And a lot of those people, since they're skeptical of some random stranger just hitting them up, you haven't had time to build trust and authority with them over the call. Like they're going to want to either test it out on some free trial or some weird like that. You hear me? Like, because it's a cold call. It's not a referral. It's a difference, right? So making 10K in a day with cold calling is highly unlikely. But let's just do the math. Let's say you got good at it. All right, so it says at a 1% conversion rate, you might expect to make 3 to 15 sales, resulting in 6,000 to 15 thousand that'll be awesome but look at this at a two percent conversion rate maybe twelve thousand to three uh, thirty thousand now let's hop down because i got to show you guys the way that i strongly recommend you do it and the way that i do it to be consistent with this all right um at a five percent conversion rate you might make 15 to 75 sales <laughs> imagine that cold calling. You would be a freaking legend if you was really about to do that. 5% conversion rate, selling something for two to $5,000, you'll get $75,000. Now, now, I don't have to tell you guys that, I mean, all things are possible with God, right? And if you are just on a roll and fireballing and you calling like billionaires and where thousands of dollars is chump change to them, man, send me that list that you cold calling with, right? But <laughs> It's highly unlikely you're going to make that 10K in one day within the eight hours. I'm not saying it can't happen, right? But within the eight hour period, without you having to get on some Zoom call and walk them through everything you do and all of that extra bull crap, right? We ain't got time for that. The clock is going. So now let me show you the way that I recommend the way that geniuses do it the way that people that believe in leverage do it the way that you don't even have to reach some point of emergency anymore when you start implementing this if i only had eight hours to live and needed to come up with ten thousand dollars in an eight hour period this is what i would do right here I will start running emergency webinars to make $10,000 a day. Why? Because it it uh, cures the skepticisms, the trust factor, the authority factor, the proof, and you get to break down like how it works and all of that stuff all in one time. So now what happens? Those same 200 or 300 people you were cold calling, instead of cold calling them one by one or whatever, you could just gather up all of their information using scraping tools and automated tools, right? And you can ringless voicemail blast. You can text blast. And you can uh, invite them to this webinar, this one webinar at the end of their shift. Okay, so we'll say like 6 p.m. That's usually like around the times if I do it, right? Uh, maybe 4.30 to 6 p.m., right? So 
hopefully you can get majority of the 200 on there. But the thing about it, that same 200 person list of business owners is going to be way more valuable to you than the 200 uh, business owner list if you were cold calling them. Because now you get to answer every single question, get all your no's and yeses at the same time. Now you get to set it up to where you're the authority figure because they're going to see the other business owners on there at the same time, uh, you know, giving you the position of power. And they're going to be like, whoa, he's dealing with all these people and people are sheep. No offense, but that's just truth. So when they see other people wanting to take action, they naturally want to start trying to take action and get over their fears as well and not get left out with the FOMO situation. You see what I'm saying? So that's why webinars are powerful. It allows you to do a presentation to multiple people at one time and not have to freaking repeat yourself. And it allows you to set it up to where when you can make one winner of the presentation, you call out one person that's taking action. You call out one person that's really trying to be successful, one person that just bought or something. The other people that were on the fence, they slowly start following after that one. So if you sold something for $2,000 that day, in that webinar, so so get, let's be clear. I will spend the first six to seven hours of that day scraping lists and inviting people to that one webinar at six o'clock in the eighth hour or in the seventh hour because we don't want to be cutting it too close. Get it? Because then they'll be cutting it too close, right? <laughs> right? So in that in that hour, right? That is when I will be inviting everybody to that webinar. And on that webinar, I will be showing proof, 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 case studies, testimonials, anything to get them off the fence, giving them famous campaigns and celebrity examples of people that's got success with what I'm offering them and just like hitting the punchlines like you hear me like overcome all of the the uh, the, the insecurities and the fears of them and the uh, what's the word? Um, I can't even think of it. Like it's, it's when they make the excuses and stuff, it starts with an O, but I can't think of it right now. But you like get through all of that extra stuff on there and then you hit them with an irresistible offer with a crazy guarantee and risk reversal at the same time. You're going to shoot way past the $10,000 in a day. Like that's pretty much a like guarantee. So let me show you what it is. Okay, watch it. All right. So it says running an emergency webinar to make ten thousand a day. The average conversion rate of webinars can vary widely depending on several factors, including the quality of your leads. So you want to make sure you scrape good leads. The content and presentation of your webinar. So you have formulas to that. Uh, hit me in the comments and I'll send you the perfect infomercial formula. All right. Like this infomercial formula, you can use this for your webinars and you, you'll kill it with that okay so your offer irresistible offer and your marketing strategy but as you can see already is higher the conversion rates are way higher than uh, uh, cold calling why because when you call someone they have to visualize what you're saying they have to imagine <laughs> you know what I'm saying they have to like wonder like what you're talking about and probably don't get it and guess what a confused mind doesn't buy and Chances are they're just not going to get it, especially if it's something new that you're selling they never heard of before. And if they already heard of it before and haven't took action on it before, chances are you're going to have to compete with price, which is not good if you're trying to make the 10000 in eight hours, right? So uh, webinars use the power of show, not tell. Now, of course, you're talking on there, but they get the visual at the same time. And when we learned language, when we learned math, science, all of that stuff, it was a combination of not just verbal, unless you were born with a disability or something, it was a combination of verbal and visual. You understand? That's the best way people learn. So when you plug in a webinar and all, and the good thing about this is once you have a good successful webinar, you can start automating this. You can uh, spend all morning letting the, the softwares and the scrapers build up the invites to the webinar, and then you can have the automated or the pre-recorded webinar play around whatever that, you know, the end of the day is where you believe most people would be on there. 
So now you're just getting sales on autopilot. Now you can get far away from the fear of death, right? Now you can get away from the extremities and because it will become a natural, normal thing for you to make over $10,000 in a day or in an eight hour shift. So, so look, it says, remember, it was only a one to 5% with the cold calling, but now you see it is 10% to 20%. It says, given that you invited 300 business owners to your webinar and offer something priced between two to five thousand uh, dollars let's calculate potential outcomes on that so even with a two percent i need y'all to understand that even with a two percent conversion rate if you're selling something between two to five thousand dollars like let's even with the two thousand the two thousand that will still give you what twelve thousand dollars right here, and if it's at the five thousand uh, dollars selling price, then you can get like thirty thousand dollars. Like this is the difference. This is the difference between affiliate marketers and agency owners. On my channel, this is called Agency to Partner. I'm teaching agency owners how to become partners of local business owners. So they're turning their clients, existing and new, into partners so they can make way more money without having to get a crap load of freaking headaches, right? Or clients, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so my point is when you have these partners, you're going to be plugging in stuff like this, like webinars and everything. You're going to be plugging in stuff like upsells to affiliate offers and CPA and paper call offers and, and different different things that you can get extra commissions off of them without them having to pay out of pocket. This is why I strongly suggest you go to the first pin comment and sign up to the agency to partner membership. If you believe this was uh, valuable to you and just imagine what I'm going to be able to do with you with more personal attention. You understand what I'm saying? Like this is easy and I just gave this away for free. You can definitely way, go way past, way past $10,000 in a day using this webinar method. Quit getting on solo Zoom calls with clients and trying to close them one by one and all of that stuff. Also, if you got a nine to five job, guys, is a one is a way that you can increase your income with a nine to five job, but I strongly suggest you just go ahead and cut the umbilical card and use the methods that I teach on this channel for you to make money online. This is one of the best income growth hacks that I can show you guys without charging you on this channel. Um, so what would you do? Which method, <laughs> if you're a master cold caller, let me know in the comments if, if your cold calling method would beat this webinar method. Like, let me know. I'm not mad at you. It's not like a challenge or anything. I, I just want to know how good you are because I might have to like partner with you and have you cold calling some people. If you think that you, you know what I'm saying, with no warm lists, just complete strangers, I just gave you a random list of people, you would make the 10,008 hours. That would be awesome. And I would love to see that. Record yourself doing it. And it better not be a friend that you have on speed dial. All right. Love you guys. If you haven't subbed, do a, do a, a spinning back fist to the subscription button. Do a, a, a Jeet Kune Do Jet Li kick to the like button and do a, 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 a Ung Bak High Knee kick to the share button. All right. Love you guys.